Okay, in this tutorial we're going to look at changing the security classifications um, on this software that you're looking at here on the screen. My security classification bar is at the bottom. Remember you can move these bars about by holding onto them like this and then you can maneuver them anywhere but I've placed mine down here. Now the standard default setting is when you open up by double clicking on it you'll see there's a whole series of different uh, security classifications. They all start with NATO and then whatever they may be from unclassified to secret and they have colors that are associated with the different security classifications. You as an operator may not wish to have all these security classifications in there or you may wish to have your own. So obviously these are set for working with the NATO Kronos uh, communication system but you may wish to have your own national ones in or if you are working uh, with NATO in some form of exercise maybe you would like to place in the exercise name and the security classification of that exercise. So you can make those adjustments. So first thing I'm going to say then is that I am using uh, CB Analysis version 21. It's a beta version at the moment while I'm making this um, tutorial. And for that particular version of software, you can make a configuration file as part of the installation. So within that configuration file, you can set your security levels and settings and whatever you want so that when the software is installed onto a laptop or a PC, it will have the pre-designated ones that you wish to have inside the system. However, don't worry if you've got a version 21 or 20 or 19 or 18, the procedure that I'm about to show you, you too can carry it out. So you still, in this case, install or have CBR analysis on your laptop or your PC. And the first thing you need to ensure is that you have administrative rights to that piece of hardware where you've got CBR analysis on. Okay, Because what you need to do is physically um, go in and if I go into here, into the C drive, you're going to have to go into program files times 86. So that's the location you need to go to. Then inside there, you need to go to bring new tech. And then you'll have your CBR analysis folder. You'll then open it up. And then you'll have all the folders and all the files that are associated with the software in here. So what you need to do is go down and look for a file called classification. There it is there, and then you're going to extract it, place it um, onto your desktop. Again, you may be asked if you've got administrative rights before you can do that, and then you just go OK. If you haven't got administrative rights, then you're going to have to get someone who does have the rights to do this for you. The first thing that I would say that you should do is once you've done that, then you should make a folder and then right click and then copy and place inside that folder a copy of the classification file just in case so you've still got the default file with all the information in it just in case anything goes wrong. So copy and paste into a folder or wherever you want um, to place a copy of that particular file. So I'll just move that out of the way for now to save any confusion. Next thing you need to do is with this file then, I'll just minimize uh, CBR analysis down. With this file, you need to right click onto it. I'll just move it across so you can see it a little bit better. Right click and then go down to properties. And inside properties you'll see that it is read only, ticked on. So you need to take that off on attributes and then you need to apply that and then go OK. So now when you make any adjustments inside this file they will be saved. OK so let's open up the file and you can see that it is in notebook and you should be able to go in and make the adjustments that you wish to make inside the software or this sorry this particular um, file two ways you can do that 
maybe you just want to go all the way to the bottom and then just add some new information in okay maybe the best way of doing that is to copy and then paste down here and then just change that information if you want to keep it in so maybe um, copy a line like this go copy then paste it down the bottom and then make whatever changes you want down here and we'll just go country I've got caps locked um, you don't have to have caps locked but um, I just think it looks better if you do have caps locked and it's all capitals and then change the security classification in here to whatever I want it to be um, what shall I have it to be oh yes let's go And then finally, we've got three um, sets of numbers down here. This is known as the RGB, and that's explained up the top here. So red, green, blue, and they are, depending on which uh, number combination you place in, will give you different colors um, associated um, with whatever you place on that line. So that's one way of doing it. So you can just add on to what's ever there if you don't want to remove this information. Or you can just come along and decide, actually, I'm not going to use all of that. And then you can start to delete the information out. Reduce it down. keeping maybe ones so that you can adjust them and then like so okay and then I can go in and make the adjustments that I want to make and if I wish change the colors as well okay so I can do that um, I'm going to take that away and actually I'm going to use this one here um, and place it in like so just so that you can see that I have uh, made some adjustments in this one so if I double click onto this I've got all sorts of information in here and I've changed the colors so how to change colors in the RGB there are several ways of doing it um, go on the internet have a look my preferred way is if you do have PowerPoint then I suggest that you can go into PowerPoint and then select um, a slide we're just going to take that out then uh, insert any object or shape then click onto it and then you can go up to uh, here and say uh, more fill colors on the shape fill and then you will get this window here inside this window it will indicate all the different colors across the spectrum and also it will give you the RGB so if you want to move this about say you wanted this color green inside that uh, notepad file then all you do is just write down what the RGB is and then that will select that color okay or maybe you want yellow then you can write that down if you want lighter or darker whatever it may be you can use that that's my preferred way of doing it you may have another way of doing it um, as long as you get whatever the RGB combinations are okay so these are the um, set ones here uh, I'm going to change uh, some of them so let's go unclassified um, which is normally a uh, dark green and I'm going to place in 205 
234 and 62 and then at the bottom I've already changed this one um, it was red and I've changed it to 61 uh, 23565 okay so I've changed that one and I've changed that one I then go I can either go file or just close it down it'll ask me to save anyway but I'll go file and I'll save it okay then I can close it down move it to one side then the next thing I need to do then is go back inside um, my C drive inside program files times 86 bring new text CBR analysis and then drop that edited file back into this location do I want to continue yes close down and then go back to CBR analysis I will probably have to close down CBR analysis so let's uh, close down CBR analysis um, so that the changes can take place remember you do have to uh, leave CBR analysis for 5-10 seconds if you double click straight on it will just say it or it won't allow you to open but after 5-10 seconds you should be able to double click on the icon where CBR analysis um, shortcut is situated open that up wait for CBR analysis to open up and once it's opened up then what I'll do is I'll just um, see if I can maybe drag it by the corner just to make it a little bit smaller because it depends how it's going to be shown there you go so you can see there's the adjustments being made so just to recap then what you need to do is you need to go to um, the C drive into programs times 86 into the brew new tech folder into then your CBR analysis folder just look down for the classification file take it out place it onto the desktop don't forget to make a copy yep just in case everything goes wrong once you have got that classification file remember to right click and change the attributes from read only so that you can edit it then edit the file to whatever information you want in to whichever colors that you want to use as RGB once you've edited and saved that file then place it back into the C drive program files times 86 brew new tech CBR analysis once you place it back in there close down CBR analysis open it back up and there you have it your new security um, classifications levels and whichever colors you have decided to change on each of those security levels hopefully that has been useful information uh, for you and you'll be able to carry that out yourselves